Hey guys, uh, I've had a few requests to make a um, tutorial on how the Fog of War works in my Fortify 2 game that I'm working on. So I decided to make a short tutorial and this is the effect I'm trying to replicate but I'll make an extremely simple version of this. So here I'm just showing it off so you guys know what it's waiting. So this guy is moving around and he is exploring the area. And anything that is unexplored is just black. And um, like I said, I'll make just an extremely simple version so you can follow along. I'm making a new, new project uh, instead of sharing the entire code with this one. So let's start. I've made a small. Uh, I've made. I've already started a little bit. Just added this light sprite, which is just a white uh, circle that fades to transparency. I've made it 100 by 100, so it's easy to scale later to get the size you want. And then I've just made an object called Fog of War. I haven't added any code code yet, so let's start with that. In the create, we want to make a surface, I'll call it surf. And the simple version is just to add to set it to room width and room height. Um, and then I'll make an, a variable called create. Because in Game Maker Studio you want to draw everything you want to draw to the surface you have to do it in the, in the draw event. So first time we draw the surface we want to add a black background to everything. Uh, and that's it for now for the simple version. And uh, let's make a light object. So this I'll just name it light and I won't add any sprite to it. So this will be this could be like your units or anything that's supposed to reveal the fog of war. Uh, and we'll have some have some basic values for this one. So the light will have light size. And light strength. I'll just set these to one now. And that's all we need for that one right now. In Fog of War, if we press the left mouse button, it will create a light object. at the mouse position. And then we'll add the draw event. And first we need to target the surface so that any, anything we draw will draw onto the surface. Um, so we'll set surface set target surf and just so we don't forget it we'll have to reset the target right after surface reset target. So in the middle here as you remember I, I made a variable called create in the first in the create event. So if if this is the first time we draw the surface, we'll make it all black. So surf not draw clear black and create equals zero. So this will not draw every turn. 
for every step. And then with object light Um, so well, now we'll have to set the uh, blend mode to something else than the normal blend mode and the blend mode that works for this is uh, source color so draw set blend mode bmsrc color and then we'll draw the sprite Light, zero subimage at the x y position of the light at the x scale and y scale we will add the variable that we named in the light object light size I think I called it light size rotation zero color white and light spray as the alpha and then we'll have to reset the blend mode back to normal EM normal and I think Forgetting anything right now. Just have to create a room, add the fog of war object. Oh, when of course I did forget something. Draw. After I reset the target, I want to draw the surface, of course. Draw surface, surf, and we made it. The size of the surface is room width and room height. So if we draw the surface at zero zero, it will fill up the room. And that should be it. Let's try it. I may have forgotten something. No hand. So now I can create light objects that reveal the fog of war. And of course these objects if they were moving they would they would uh, just like would see the fog of war as they went along. Now this can now be altered in a lot of ways. If you think you understand this you might quit now <laughs> but I'm gonna show off uh, how I made it in Fortify because the maps are so large there, like over 2,000 pixels. So you don't want to have a surface that big. So in that case, you can do like this: surface create room width and divide it by. We don't we don't have such a large room, so let's divide it by 16. 16. And then I'll add a variable. It's called surf. Scale and we'll make it a 16. So now the surface will only be 1 16th of the room width and height. So if, if this square were the room, the surface would only be something like, like that. So we'll have to adapt everything we do in the draw event. For example, we'll have to draw the surface scaled up so it fills the room. So we'll do draw surface x. Uh, and x scale will be surf scale. But if you remember, I put it to 1 16th, so we'll have to make 1 over surface scale to invert the, the thing so it's 16 scale and rotation 0 color white 
alpha 1. But also, we'll have to move the lights. Because if you remember, the surface, any time you draw to the surface, the surface is is uh, like treated as being at zero zero of the room. So if I only have like this part is a surface and I draw the light over here, it won't be visible. So we'll have to move the light to scale with the surface. So that means x times surf scale and y times surf scale and the light size will also be smaller of course and then scaled up later so surf scale for the light size as well Let's save and play. Oops. Surf scale. Oh, same. So, of course, I'm doing this with object light, so it doesn't know what surf scale is. If I add other here, it knows that it's the fog of war objects variable surf scale. And there we go. Now we have less precise circles, but they actually this is actually how Fog of War usually looks in games, like a little bit square. And it will be a lot, a lot faster. And of course, like I said, if they were moving, they would, since I do this every step, they would, of course, remove the fog of war as they were moving. Another way to improve performance is to not update this every single step. So I could make a variable. Sorry, this is... I'll make a variable here called update and set an alarm. Let's make it 10. So it updates every 10, 10 steps. And in alarm, update equals 1 and alarm. So this alarm will sound every 10 steps and set update to 1 and in the draw event I will only update the surface if the variable is 1 so we'll have if update equals 1 we will do everything like this and also set update to 0 so now this first time we will have the create will be 1, update will be 1. So the first time it will update everything, it will come to the draw event. Update is 1, yes, it's true. So it will go in here, set update to 0, and then draw everything. The lights will draw their stuff. And then I draw the surface. This draw surface has to be outside. Because this inside is just, I update the surface and then I draw it. So if I, if this row right here were inside, it would only draw, like, flash every 10 steps with the surface. So I'll have to draw the surface every time, but then I only update it on the update variable as well. So I, because I set the alarm, whoops, set the alarm here at the start, 10, it will go to the alarm it will say update equals one reset the alarm 
then it goes back to draw. It will update again. Then it will go on. And also, every I will add like this. So every time I create a new light, it will set update to one, so I don't have to wait up to ten steps. This is pretty cool. Let's add just a little light bulb or something to the light. It's going to be so ugly. Have a light bulb. So now the lamps will light up. And this can, of course, be like your units, and you can select them and move them around. But I think that's another tutorial. So this fog of war works kind of good. And I hope you liked it. I might have been slightly disoriented <laughs> or <coughs> excuse me. I might have been a little fast, I don't know. This video is still 16 minutes long, so Yeah, uh, this effect is pretty good for most cases. And of course, you can change the size of the light bulbs. You can make easy adjustment here, light size 4. Now it will be a lot bigger. So I usually keep these variables easy at hand instead of instead of adding like scale here for the light size instead of writing like four here and uh, so that's easy to change and you can also have different objects like you can have like a little torch that doesn't light up so much and you can have like a watchtower have a large light size, and like I said, a torch could be really small. Choose zero point five and four. So I could create like this, and this could be like a little torch that just lights up a small area, and this could be a lighthouse or whatever. So, thanks for watching. I hope some of this made sense. And if you have any questions, just ask them in the comments. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Or if you have requests, I guess, for other tutorials, I'll see if I find the time to make them. And feedback is, of course, appreciated if you have uh, tips on how I should make these in the future. So thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time.